بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم ذم أهل النفاق كثيرة الله سبحانه وتعالى speaks about the people of hypocrisy and those aspects of hypocrisy all throughout the Quran and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam warned us all throughout the authentic sunnah alayhi afdal salatu wa salam about being cautious of nifaq and about being away from those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislikes and one of the things one of the ayats that I reflect on and increases me in fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with an acknowledgement of my own sins is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah قَالَ تَبَارَكُ تَعَالَى فِي كِتَابِهِ الْكَرِيمِ أَتَأْمُرُونَ النَّاسَ بِالْبِرِ وَتَنْسَوْنَ أَنفُسُكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ تَطْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ أَفَلَا تَعْكِلُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you command the people to the good you order the people to taqwa to piety and you forget yourselves do, do you don't you think aren't you a thinking person letting us know the danger of calling people to khair and not practicing that we have to always strive to command the good and forbid the evil in accordance with Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but we have to practice and we have to do everything we can to avoid indulging in sinfulness ourselves and in inviting people to the good and that's why it's also imperative that we make Tawbah to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala as much as possible come back to Allah the Prophet ﷺ said Kullu ibn Adam khatta wa khayran khata'ina tawabun all the children of Adam they make mistakes and the best of those who sin are those who make repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so while we're commanding to the good and trying to forbid the evil make sure that we don't forget ourselves and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me and forgive the Muslims everywhere for the many acts of hypocrisy that we engage in and that we indulge in for not practicing what we preach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in another ayat regarding this action of hypocrisy of commanding the good and not practicing in that and, and and putting that upon ourselves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem qala subhana ya ayyuhalladhina amanu lima taquluna ma la taf'alun lima taqu lima taqulu لما تقولون ما لا تفعلون قبر مقتن عند الله أن تقولوا ما لا تفعلون Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says O oh, you who believe so again addressing the believers those people who are ahla amr bi marufa ahla nahina munkar those people who are ahla and for that those people who are, are that, that's their duty to do Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says O oh, you who believe why is it that you command or why is it that you say and preach that which you do not do? This is a grievous in the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning it's a major sin to call to those things which you do not do. So Allah is making it 
known to us, letting us know we have to practice. It's not simple enough, which we've seen many of our du'at and many of the people do, calling the good and not practicing it themselves. And we ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us and grant us success in this life and accept our fasting and bless us with ikhlas with the bad Allah sunnah and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And may Allah tabaraka ta'ala help us and protect us from everything that he is displeased with and increases in taqwa Allah azza wa jal wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam